G sharp. Okay, it's a little boring. There are no dynamic markings at all. So that's priority one for me. Priority two is sorting out my breath. I'm gonna have a quick look at the height edition. If you're new to uh, my streams, I use the, the height version of these studies as kind of an extra reference. The rose edition that's on my iPad is like, it's the original, it's the standard. And um, he writes in his own like phrasing markings and dynamic markings, but sometimes there aren't many at all. And the height version, he added a lot. He also added a lot of guidance in terms of breathing. Uh, sometimes I don't like his ideas. Sometimes I disagree. But, um, but sometimes I find it very helpful, at least as a jumping off point. So it looks like, I'm going to show you a little bit of what this page looks like. He does a lot of like in this first line of like the first note is loud and the, the second note with the grace notes is softer. And that makes sense to me because the, the first note I would say is more the melody for this um, as it is. And one thing that I know I did wrong in the, the first playthrough and that I want to fix is I'm definitely trying to rush my way out of the second eighth note each time. So I'm going to play it for a bit with the metronome to make sure I don't continue to rush. But I like later on instead where he where Height illustrates these um, these larger phrases. I think I'm going to mark them in. So we're more or less mezzo forte at the beginning. Unfortunately, I don't have the measures numbered in the rows. There are rehearsal markings in the height, um, but it means I just have to count to get to the right spot. I'm going to change them as I go if I don't like them and, and replace them with my own. But I think this will be a good jumping off point for myself and also anyone else who is playing these for the first time. Now this isn't the first time I've played them, but it's been so long that I I feel like it's it kind of counts. Ooh, Subito Mezzo Piano, that's interesting. I'm interested to see if the height markings make this a much more interesting study to play. Because right now it's not, it's challenging in its own way, but it is not terribly interesting. So my, my challenge and goal is going to be to make this interesting for you all to listen to, or at least do the best I can. So once I get these dynamic markings written in, I'm going to switch and write in the, the breath marks that Height included and see if I like those. This is for sure one of those where I feel like it's easy to feel a bit winded because um, you don't need as much air as you think, but all these short, slow staccato notes but it's easy to feel tempted to, to take breaths when, when there's an appropriate time, even if you don't need the air, and then you end up with too much air, and then you, that kind of like, that panic of I just want to breathe out sets in. I feel like these breath marks are going to be super important, but there might be too many. I might have to edit some of them out. Luckily, this even though there are no rehearsal markings in this edition, the spacing is the same, so it's pretty easy to find. 
where these breath marks are. So now that I've got these markings in, I'm going to play it from the top of the metronome for a bit. And I'm gonna try and do my absolute best not to rush my way out of the second eighth note each time. to be. I'm not even going to bother marking it. I should be able to remember that. And since I'm playing these like more like the meter version of the grace notes, I'm not using any alternate fingerings. Like I'm not using any side key or trill fingerings. I'm just using like what I would call like the standard or proper fingerings. Um, because I'm because it's so slow, I want to make sure that each one of those notes like has a nice timbre, a nice resonance, or as nice as I can give it. I'm gonna go at the top one more time. Oh, I'm gonna circle, I'm gonna highlight that. That's where it changes. I'm also gonna go through for myself and when the brace notes change, uh, but I'm gonna highlight the places where the grace note figure changes in the middle of the bar because those are the ones that keep slipping by me. I'm gonna go right on that bar. I did, that one doesn't change though, but I don't need to highlight that. I'm gonna go at that same spot again. slow for now because I want to really give myself this challenge of not rushing and keeping it nice and steady before I go any faster. I'm going to continue. No, actually I'm going to do that much again. I'm going to go from the beginning, beginning up to that first quarter rest one more time just to make sure I can keep it nice and even. to work on not rushing those grace notes, but I think I'm getting better at it. One more time, but now with more crescendo. I need to sort out that fingering moment because I didn't do a good job of that either time. So I've got the D sharp, which needs to be a D sharp. I am going to play all these as if I only have the right hand D sharp because I think that's what most people have. Most students, anyway, don't have the alternate left hand D sharp. So I'm going to backtrack from there. So, so that means I need to do right hand B and left hand C sharp on those grace notes. I don't know why I'm not doing that. It seems like that would be intuitive. <laughs> Nope, that's wrong. That's why I was doing that, but it's not correct. So it needs to be the opposite, right, left, right. But what I'm going to do is make sure I do that on the first one as well so that I'm already in place when I get to that, going into that D sharp. work well. So I'm 
I do the same thing there as well, it's left hand B, right hand C sharp, left hand B, right hand D sharp. I was leaving one out. That's why it wasn't coming out correctly. I'm going to go with that phrase one more time. that breath. I don't want to breathe between measures right before that resolution. I'm going to put the breath after the E. I'm go back just a couple measures. Yeah, and I'm going to move this too. I don't think Mr. Height will mind. I'm going to put the subito mezzo piano right here instead of later where he had it and then just inch that crescendo back a little bit. I don't think that looks any different, but the intention is there. I'm going to go back from that breath, just about three or four measures. I'll just go to the beginning of the line before the beginning of that phrase. on putting the breaths in between measures but like before where the phrase actually ends that doesn't make sense to me I'm sure he had a reason but I don't know what that is so I'm gonna change it I'm gonna go back just a little bit to practice that change I think that'll work better. And I'm going to put a little bit of highlight on that second one where it changes back on that measure. I did that little stretch one more time. Nope, I messed it again. It's back to the G. miss that G sharp, but I didn't, but I'm going to write it in anyway, just because I don't want to miss it after playing all those G naturals. Let's do that little stretch one more time. I'm going to go back just a little bit because I want to work into that through that section with all those G naturals and make sure I don't miss that G sharp. I'm going to go like two lines back to the one that starts on an A. <laughs> right before the resolutions. That doesn't make sense to me, phrasing-wise. take a breath there just for extra. I don't know for sure. 
We'll try it and see if I actually need it or not. funny I think I did it right and it just sounds funny um, I didn't miss that a sharp but I thought about missing it or I didn't think about it and almost missed it I want to do that little stretch one more time I'm just gonna go back to three measures four measures <laughs> lazy with my staccatos so I want to do I'm gonna try and bring those back So that I can tell my brain that that is in fact a C to D and not another A to B. Nope, played that wrong. That's a C, not an A. Let me fix that crescendo so it's not on top of it. breath before the resolution. Why are you like that, Mr. Height? Put it after the resolution, please. Thank you. Oh, I missed that Subideo piano. I actually quite like that, so I don't want to miss that. changing it so it was to do piano on the C sharp but I actually really like it on the A so I'm going to leave it there even though it kind of goes against my instincts I want to do it correctly I'm still trying to rush which is why I'm keeping the metronome on I really don't want to rush I really want to keep it staccato but in the right place at the right time and I also don't want the graciousness to get too crunched so that was a lot better, I think, phrasing wise. I'm gonna go from the top one more time with the metronome and try and put those pieces together. Probably still stop. Nope, that's an F sharp. I didn't miss that before, but I'm gonna go ahead and mark it anyway. That's not a good place to mark that. One more time. Yeah, I didn't move that one before. We'll be moving that one to after the resolution as well.
it's getting better, but still a lot of things I want to change. The challenge here is definitely holding all these pieces together in my head at the same time, keeping the eighth note staccato, not rushing or compressing the 16th note grace notes, um, not getting ahead constantly, but also being mindful of the phrasing as well because the phrases are longer than these choppy little figures that keep kind of like, I, I keep trying to like rush my way through. I'm gonna start kind of in the middle, kind of where I left off. It's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh, the seventh line down from the top. Where's the, there's the A with the breath mark. sure play that with my left hand. Nope, that's an R. Said left and I wrote an R for right. But that, that moment just feels very weird to me. It's like my, my brain and my fingers expect it to go elsewhere and then it doesn't, which maybe that's the challenge, was to put in something unexpected. there also is to keep that C sharp that's forte short so that it doesn't cover that A that's then piano. Because I want to be able to, I don't want the resonance, I don't want the C sharp to be so resonant that you can't hear that change. So I'm going to go from the top and play it without the metronome. 